Sunday of Advent. Stand as a signal. Isaiah 11, 1 through 10, Romans 15, 4 to 13, 
Matthew 3, 1 through 12. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with knowledge of the Lord as the water covers the sea. On the day the roots of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the people, the nation shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. Isaiah 11, 9, and 10. We are the followers of that root of Jesse. Isaiah spoke of, we are the ones who are now called to stand as a symbol to the world, to all of creation, that peace is the will of the one who created us. Peace is the knowledge of the Lord that we proclaim from sea to shine and sea. In those days, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea proclaiming, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come nigh, and bear fruit worthy of repentance. Matthew 3, 1, 2, and 8. We light these candles, the candle of joyful hope, and the candle of proclaimed peace, in part to remind ourselves that we are a people rising towards God's promise. We also light them as a sign to the world, an announcement that an announcement. There are some who hold on to hope, and there are some who work the ways of peace. We stand as a sign that Emmanuel is still our fervent prayer.
about prayer uh, for illumination found uh, in your hymnal, uh, page six. Amen. Amen. Sam John and his remnant of camel hair and his 
leather and girdle about his loins, and his meat was locust and wild honey. Then went out of him Jerusalem and Judea and all the region of round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and, and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. And think not to say within yourself, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Indeed baptize, I indeed baptize you with water unto the repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in the hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat unto the garner, but the will, but he will burn up the chair with unquenchable fire. That's that read. Verse chapter. Matthew chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word and sanctify the Amen. Come on and tell the Lord thank you. Come on and tell him thank you. Tell him thank you like he's worthy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning, Lord, we come before you again, God. Come to tell you, thank you for it all. Thank you for our rest on last night. Thank you for our early rising this morning. Thank you, God, because we were just like children. All have gone astray. But God, you lead us back to you, God. And this morning we say thank you. I thank you, God, that I wasn't cut off in the sin this morning. God, you were bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was upon you. And this morning by your stripes, we are healed this morning. By the stripes that you took on Calvary. Oh, God, we thank you. And what shall make us whole again? Nothing but your blood, God. The blood that you shed on Calvary shall make us whole again. For this morning, God, you are our shepherd. And we are your sheep, God. And we know, God, that you would lead us back to you. Oh, God, keep us each and every one comfortable. Lay down their scarves, hands upon us. Unstuff our ears that we might care. But the Spirit of God has to say on us today. Oh, God, we'll give your name the glory. We'll give you all the honor. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, if there be any sick among us this morning, oh, God, send your blood to heal us today. Wash us this morning. Oh, God, and our children, our grandchildren, our daughters and sons, oh, God, save them this morning. Somebody needs you like they never do. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and as a man of God, well, God, this morning to bring the bread of life. Yes. Oh, God, help it not 
to fall on stony heart. Help us to break up the foul ground. God, that we might be able to softly hear what you say is after the church today. In Jesus' precious name, I pray this morning. Amen. 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 Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Come on and tell him, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Blessing comes down. You want to bless us with God? Begin to praise Him from the depths of your soul. Amen. 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 We we'll have a selection uh, sermon this morning by Pastor uh, Reverend Levy McCray, and then we have an invitation uh, song, and then our Holy Communion. Let the church say Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I know you've been so good.
when I open my door, it just seemed like this morning the sun was shining bright. Yes. And it ever had before. I don't know if anybody ever noticed that this morning. Yes. But the sun hit my face Jesus. early this morning. Yes. Usually when I get up, it's a little scary. Oh, but the sun was shining bright this morning. Yes. Oh, and I thank God. Because there were many yes. who were here yes. last Sunday this time. Yes. Oh, and you were calling their names right now. Oh, the voice was fancy asking you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you think you. Oh, that to be good. Be good. Before that, I can tell them thank you. I can say thank you.
deeds and all blessings we ask in your son Jesus name amen amen, amen. 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 and amen. amen thank you Jesus for this is he who was spoken of by the prophet saying the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. So the words that we heard from my gospel reading, it's the words that God has shared with us on this morning. For we are still here in this wilderness. We're here. These words, the gospel say, John the Baptist preached, are quoted from the prophet Isaiah, which means that they were written 500 years before Jesus' birth. And not only that, uh, it was over 2,500 years before uh, this modern day that we live in today. John's ministry was fulfilling the prophecy of Isaiah. Amen. He was that voice crying in the wilderness. Amen. Spiritually speaking, Israel was a, a wilderness at that time. Amen. A nation uh, that was dry and and cheerless, bringing forth no fruits in order to be ready for the coming of the Lord. The people had to go through and experience a moral change. You see, when a king or a great leader were coming in to town or coming in to visit Elaborate preparation had to be done. Uh, elaborate preparation had to be made and, and all the highways and various things had to be made smooth. We had to clear away things to make sure that it was right and everything whereas he could come in to wherever he was going without any hazard. But this passage John was speaking of was not an, an outward national crisis, but rather the inward personal need for the people of his day to prepare for the coming of the Lord. Amen. What John was calling the people to do was uh, not the matter of repairing the physical roads. Uh, it was preparing his own hearts to receive the Lord. Amen. Not just straightening the road to the countryside, but rather the crookedness and the brokenness in our own hearts and within our own minds is what John the Baptist was referred to. Yes. And so it is with us. So it is with us just like those children of Israel. We have it always walk that straight and, and narrow path. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. We are not always born good fruits. Our ways have always been straight. Yes. Sometimes we waver along the way and became broken. Yes. Yes. There are some cracks in our lives yes. that lead to wrong doing and unrighteous living. And there is a need for repair. But our ways of, of, of living must be able to line up with the will of God and what John was preparing us for. Amen. Therefore, this sinful nature must be cleared away out of our lives if we want to know Jesus. Yes. John said that we must re repent of our sins. Or we heard it said to bring forth therefore meat for repentance. Yeah. He said, in other words, show forth the fruit of your changed life. Yeah. Show forth some fruits of your 
your changed life. Let your actions speak louder than your words. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right about it? This is the requirement for, for all people who want to know the Lord for themselves. Amen. People all around was coming to hear the one, the voice in the wilderness saying, repent and be baptized. Huh? Make a clean path for the Lord. They have gotten the word they were coming to, to hear someone in the wilderness. Preach this word, that good news about a savior, someone who was coming. Amen. But he also was letting them know what they need to do when he shows up within all yes, yes. uh, the area. Yes. In other words, we need to change the way that we, we think and the way that we act. Amen. Take a close look at our lives and confess and admit the fact that we have sinned or we all have sinned Amen. and have fallen short of the glory of God. Jesus. Am I right about it? Amen. Oh, that's what the Word is saying. This is not what the pastor is saying, but this is what the Word is saying, that we all have sinned Amen. and have fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. But what we need to do is to take a public vow that we, we are trying to straighten it out. That we are trying to get our life in order. That we are trying to straighten those crooked parts of our lives. Yes. That's what we are trying to do when we say that we repent. Just involves turning away from sin and turning to the Lord. Amen. Turning away from sin and turning to the Lord. Amen. But church, one of the key things that we want to remember as we do this. We need to remember why repenting and turning away from sin was necessary. Yeah. Why is all that necessary? Why should we re repent and turn from sin? <laughs> so it said that so that we can be forgiven. That's the only way that we can be forgiven. We must repent. We must believe in him who is on the way. Yes, yes. The one who has come. Yes. One who has bled and died upon the cross. For the forgiveness of all of our sins. Amen. So we must have that re repentant spirit within us. This is what he is saying. And church, this is that good news. That Jesus has come to forgive us of all of our sins. If we repent, if we, we humbly uh, turn from our wicked ways. This is the good news. That we can be forgiven of our sins. We heard that the ways of the sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. This is the word of God, church. This is what he is saying unto us. Amen. If we confess our sin, he is just to forgive us of our sin and cleanse us yes. from all. He didn't say some, but he said all un unrighteousness, church. Yes. That is good news. I don't know about you, but that is good news to my spirit of this morning. Yeah. Knowing that if I repent and turn from my wicked way, that he is just to forgive me of all of my unrighteousness. Yeah. Maybe you have never done anything wrong. Yeah. Maybe you have never fallen to the wayside. Yeah. Nah? But I'm glad to hear this good news on this morning. Yeah. God is always ready to say, yeah. always ready to respond favorable lady to all who repent. Amen. That's what he said. He's ready to forgive all who, who favorably repent. And he went on to say, seek ye do all while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. What he said, let the wicked forsake his ways and the righteous man his thoughts. Yes. And let him turn to the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. Oh, church, that is good news. Yes, to know that if we will do these things, that he will indeed have mercy upon us. Yes. That's good news. Yes, yes. And then he went on to say, and that our God, for he will abundantly pardon us. Yes. Abundantly pardon us. Huh? See, man wouldn't do that for us, but it is the God in which we serve. 
What we find over in Acts where Paul said to repent therefore and be converted for your sins may be blotted out. Yes. yes. That is good news that know that your sin will be blotted out if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in the Savior who is here. Amen. We said that he is coming for the event, the Advent season, but we know that, that he is already here. Amen. This is the good news. For everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord Amen. shall be saved. Amen. Everyone, yes. anyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. That's it, church. That is, good, that is good news. This is what we need to be sharing when we go out into the highways and the byways. Let them know what Jesus has already done. Share that good news with them. And then we hear John calls us to baptism. He calls us to baptism. He calls upon us to be baptized into, or he calls upon the Israelites to be baptized in the Jordan River as a sign, as a sign, church, before God that they intend to change their ways and live according to his will. Yeah. Attention, good attention. This is my this is what I want to do. It is an illustration of what I want to do. John baptism symbolized an illustration of cleansing, of personal repentance. It was not a, a Christian baptism. It was not a, a Christian baptism because the death and the resurrection of Jesus has not come Amen. yet. Amen. In other words, this baptism was a way to show that we are serious, that we are committed to the Lord, and, and that we won't go back. Yeah. That was, it was demonstrating on that day, church, that we have died to the sins right. of His world. Yeah. Died to the sins of the world. Church, I believe the call that John the Baptist was making to the people of his time is the call that we need to make as we continue to hear these words in our hearts and within our minds today. Yeah. Repent and be baptized. Yes. When I look back over the years of the past three years, I'm amazed at how uh, all of the suffering that we have witnessed over the past few years. The mass shooting and gun violence and, and massive lives being lost through natural disasters, yes. COVID. Yes. And while it's always easy to, or uh, attempting to look outside of ourselves, to look for a reason uh, to, to blame someone else yes. for the trouble that we see or for the terrible things that are happening within our lives, we need to hear and take heed to John's call yes. to look inward as we are looking outward, especially during the times of this Advent season, which is so much about looking inward and examining our own hearts and minds as we prepare for the coming of Christ, as we prepare for what we say Christmas. But it is not easy, church. It is not easy. It is hard not to indulge in anger. It's hard not to spend our time looking for someone to blame when, when terrible things happen to us. It is difficult to focus instead on straightening out our own lives, working to change those old habits into better ones, yeah. and trying to become the kind of loving and generous hearted people, persons, that God calls us to be is hard when we are not operating within the Spirit of God. Yes, yes. It is hard, church, when we are not operating in the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. But I believe this is exactly what uh, we are called to do as people because in spite of all that has happened around us, all that has been going on within our lives, trouble, death, for 
all of these things that have went on even this year. Yeah. We have experienced a lot of stuff this year, church. Yeah. The season is still Advent. Yes. God is still coming. Yeah. Regardless of what's going on here, it is still coming yeah. and we must be ready. He is yeah. still waiting yeah. as John is calling us to prepare ourselves yeah. for the good news that the Savior has come to save the crooked and broken world. Amen. Yes, he has come to, to save this crooked and broken world. We know and we remember John 3 and 16 Amen. where it says, For God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not Perish but have everlasting life. Amen. As followers of Jesus, we are called to prepare the way for all, all the earth, so that they may be able to receive this message. Amen. The good news Amen. about Jesus Christ. Say, go and tell it on the mountain Amen. that Jesus Christ has come. Amen. He is Lord. Yes. In the Father, in the name of the Son. And we pray to the Spirit. God bless you.
fellowship here. St. Luke United Methodist Church. All church, that is good news. And we want you all to extend that invitation for the common and to introduce myself on this morning. And then, then we will come back and then we will do that which is proper, decent, and in order. Yeah. Will you come? Will you come? Will you come? Is there any others that are among us who desire to be a part of this church family? Right now, Lord, that you will to the elevated presence of your Holy Spirit, Lord. 
and will guide the hands of the doctors yes. and the nurses, Father God. Yes. That you would take control, Lord. That you would, would show up right now, Lord. Ready to have a happy full, Father. Yes. You know that you can do it, Father. Yes. And we thank you, Father, for moving with his body from side to side, Lord. And that's anything, Lord, that you see, Lord. You fix it, Father. And you fill it up with the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord. We know that you can do it, Father. We thank you, Lord. Those who have this altar, Father. The one here, Lord, for something and the other for another, Father. I don't know, Lord, what they stand in the need of, Lord. But that's why, Lord, we come calling on your holy and your righteous name, Lord. Realize, Lord, that you are an all-knowing God, Father. And you know all things, Father God. And we come asking right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, that you will just move within every heart and within every mind, Father God, that under the sound of my voice, Father God, that you will fix their situation, Father God. Oh, Lord, they're going through troubles and time within their hearts and within their minds, Father. And heaven to realize you said in your word that there is peace within you, Father. There is hunger within you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father. Show up within their hearts, Lord, and within their minds, Lord. Touch now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. If there is sickness among them, Father, if they realize what you say within your word, Lord, you said, Father God, that by your stripes, Father God, that we are healed, Father. So we are leading, and we're depending on your word on this morning, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, move within every heart, Father God. Move within every mind, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, shake them up, Father God. And they never been shook before, Father God. Move now, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, any weapon, Father, that is in, Form against them, Father God. Oh, we come right now in the name of Jesus, Father. That you have been in the heart, Father God. That victory is in you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, we are calling on you right now, Father. We are calling on your heart. In your mighty name, Lord. Oh, Lord, we know that when we call on you, that you will hear our cry, Father God. We know that you are able to hear our cry, Father. You are loving God. You are a gracious God, Father. And Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for moving within their hearts and the minds of us, your people, Father. Touch this church, Father. Here we remember, Father, far and near. Show up now, Father. Those who are, who are not here, Father, be within their midst, Father God. Touch your heart that they will know that they have been touched by you, Father God. You are the God, Father, not the people of the world. Not the things of the world. That we ought to be leading yes. and depending on you, Father. Yes, Lord, Lord. Yes, we thank you, Father. Thank you. We thank you for what you're doing. All you want to do in the life of this same church family. Yes. Those who are here, those who are far in there, those who are sick among us, Father. Yes. Be in their midst. For those who are traveling, Father, give them traveling mercy, Father. Yes. Those who don't even know you in the part of this city, Father. Show up now, Lord. Touch them in the way, Lord. And they will come and say, I yield, I yield. And what must I do? To be saved, Lord. Oh, time is running up. Time is running up. Oh, let's time out for playing church, Father. And you touch them, Father. You lead them, Lord. These are your children, Father God. Mm. And we thank you, Father. And we pray this prayer in all prayers. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son. They were the precious for the spirit. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Come on, put your hand together. Give us some praise. Oh, let's pray to him. Pray to him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for what you do. We thank you for your healing. We thank you for your direction, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit and let's gather here and all on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them to be for us the body and the blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood, by your Holy Spirit, uh, make, by your Spirit, make us one with Christ, and one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ come and find a victory, and we feast at his heavenly back, through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your Holy Church, all honor and glory of yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, and we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from time and trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, power, and the glory of you, now and forever. Amen. Because there is one love, we who are many of one body, for we all partake of the one love. Let the church say amen. Amen. The cup on which we give thanks is the sharing in the blood of Christ. May the church say amen. Amen. The table is now spread for all who die to partake as you are escorted by the others. Tonight you stand, begin coming from the rear of the church. You made a way.
that you do it as often as we do it in remembrance of him. Amen. 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 